I've just took these out of uh, a can of diesel. There's four, four out of the six injectors. I'm now sending them away to be cleaned properly. Um, they'll be done ultrasonically. Uh, hopefully, it will save us about a thousand quid. Um, you know, these are not cheap. I think they're about 800 and some plus of that um, for the six. So I'm going to send them away now and uh, get them properly cleaned. Let's see what happens. Good morning, everybody. It's Ted from the Devils in the Detail. Well, I know there hasn't been many posts over the last month, but um, my wife's been seriously ill and I've been spending my time caring for her and trying to nurse her back into better health. So I've just started coming back um, part-time, four hours of a morning, and obviously can't take any big jobs on at the moment because of having the time to do it. So I've got something a bit different in that I'm going to be doing over the next week. Um, well, I'm not going to be doing it all, but I'll just show you. This is a panel off the back of a, a motorhome, um, and you can see. And basically, it's had a slight bump which cracked all along here to the, the screw hole, and also all along here. So all this was flapping about in the wind. Now, during the accident, it's pulled the screw all out and also cracked along that. And all the tabs that the screws hold on are all broken. As you can see, out of all of them, there's only one left intact, and that's got a crack in it. So, basically, I'm gonna do my utmost to repair these and the cracks. Now, this morning, I've stitched the plastic back together so that it's held in place and it's rigid for me to work on. Um, stitched all the way across the crack here and also inside here. Now, the next plan of action, I've 80 gritted all this panel, you can hear how rough it is, because I'm going to fiberglass mesh to support this whole panel and across here. Um, because at the moment, although it's stitched, any movement, it will just crack again because the crack goes all the way through. So, my next stage is to uh, fiberglass resin some mesh over this so that the load spread. And here, I'll make up uh, these brackets um, with something. Now, I can't just put something on top of these because it will hold the panel away from the body by the thickness of whatever I would put on there. So I'm gonna to have to try and get something inside to brace across and then re-drill the holes through that. Um, probably, this is probably gonna be the hardest part to uh, repair. But once I've got this done, I shall then take it round to Perfection Body Shop, which means they can grind away the crack um, without fear of it just falling apart because um, it'll need filling um, and skimming and getting flat and then repainting but I've chosen to do the uh, repair part because I'll, um, I'm a bit more patient than the body shop um, so I will spend the time it takes um, to get these sort of things done because uh, I'm not saying they couldn't do it, but uh, Their imagination will hold them back a little bit 
so I shall do that and I'll show you the progress as we go along and try and make this panel more rigid and then the body shop can finish the outside so I thought I'd show something at least of what I'm doing um, I'm also moving on with the pagoda now I've just had the injectors back this morning from uh, being um, cleaned hopefully they'll work as good as they look so I can now I'll just take you through to the light room once the injectors are in I can start working out how these pipes are going to fit and it's a bit of a jigsaw because they all come across the front here and all have to line up with the this bracket in that gap so it isn't like you can just put number one two three four you have to work out where they're going to lie in relation to the injection pump round to the injectors so um you know it isn't the first time i've done it and it is a bit of a pain in the arse but you get there in the end it's just one of those now i didn't really do any videos last week um to be honest i was making one step forward and three steps back because although i'd fitted the master cylinder back on the car i've had to take it off another twice uh, which means i have to take this back off the manifold every time and basically what it was when i got the master cylinder on and all the pipes lined up this t-piece if you can see down there didn't line up with its mounting hole now it wasn't attached when the car first come and i understand why because basically we needed three quarters of an inch more pipe coming from around the car so basically i've had to remove the master cylinder the servo and then try and manipulate the pipe where you can't see which basically is behind the servo to gain three quarters of an inch so i could remount it and four hours a day you know it was over two days i spent or over eight hours um, just to move that three quarters of an inch and then put all this back together again um, the linkage wasn't working properly occasionally it just stick halfway open um, so again I've removed all the rods um, made sure all the bushes are lubricated and now it all seems to be working okay I've put the new plugs in, new set of points in, uh, new rotor arm and basically the next thing I'm going to do before the injectors go in is I'm going to spin the engine over to build up some oil pressure or get some oil around the engine because it hasn't spun over for 10 years so uh, I'm going to be doing that next so there we have it things are moving on they don't move on as fast as you'd like but that's part and parcel of uh, doing this sort of work to be honest and like i say this is my last restoration i want to make sure it's as uh, as good as i can get it and um it just means sometimes you know i suppose i could have left the t-piece down there hanging like the last person did but that isn't how i wanted it so you know it takes them the time to make it fit properly um and that's where the hours go really so we're getting there um you know it's this the last 10 percent of this job is going to be the longest but um the company's mixed two lots of paint that really don't look as good as they should so they're doing that again um, they're having a bit of trouble because they haven't got the same system that the original paint was uh, mixed in but uh, that's their job not mine 
So uh, I'm just getting on with the mechanical side of things um, while I'm waiting for the paint. So there we have it. Um, obviously, you know, the wife is getting better day by day. And hopefully in the next couple of weeks I can get back to some full-time work um, where I can book some detailing in. But in the meantime, I've got enough little things to keep me going. So there we have it. That's what's happening here. Let the devil's in the detail. Um, and, you know, this is an un unusual job for me to be doing. But, you know, like I say, I don't mind doing it sometimes. You know, it adds a bit of spice to life and a bit of variation. So uh, I'll get this done and then give it the body shop. Right, well, I'll see you soon. And uh, keep you updated on the pagoda as I go. See you soon.